Hello everybody, this is Nate from The Kramer Life, and today I got myself a lawnmower. But not just any lawnmower, I got myself an electric lawnmower. You may ask why, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I bought this one specifically. But for now, I need to go cut the grass, which is out of control. Let's see if I can make it out of here without breaking anything. First impressions, um, actually I, re I really like it. I've never driven a zero churn lawnmower before, so I'm going slow, I'm taking, taking it easy. It's a little, it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, on the way that you steer. Go forward, you push both handles. If you want to steer to the right, you push the right forward. Nope, that's not right. If you want to go to the left, you push the right forward and that'll turn you that way. So it's a little um, backwards from a steering wheel. But anyway, thoughts on the mower itself. It's nice and quiet, I really like that. Um, the area that I'm mowing right now, it's really bumpy. It's not a smooth yard or ground at all. And it's handling it well. It is kind of moving me around quite a bit, but the seat does have springs and it does have a little bit of shock absorbing on it. So it's, it's comfortable, but it does move me around quite a bit. Um, I also have the mower blades on slow, and I think it have it at a three and a half inch cut. So I'm not trying to do the tall grass all at once. I might do it in layers. And I am pretty impressed that with the slow blades, it's still cutting quite nicely. So I'm gonna try it with, a, with the full speed blades and see if that cuts any better. Well, I don't know if there's any noticeable difference in the way that it cuts between the high speed blades and the low speed blades. So I'm gonna put it back to low to reserve power and I'm just gonna keep mowing and see how it goes. So you guys can watch and follow along and let's see how it goes. This thing is a beast. So it shows that I've uh, been on it for two and a half hours. It's at 61% charge. I've done, I don't know, acre and a half, acre. Um, 
it's cutting through this tall grass, no problem. The brambles, no problem. This field has some common persimmon. Uh, it's really small stock, probably half inch round, maybe three quarter inch round. And I'm able just to run right over it and mow it down, no problem. So, so far I'm really impressed with this electric lawnmower. It's really quiet. Uh, it's getting easier to operate. It's really sensitive. But I'm really glad that I made this purchase and uh, I look forward to doing some more yard work with it. More lawn mowing with it, that is. To show you how quiet this is, I'm going to go ahead and just ride around a little bit without the mower on. I have the blades going. It's really not that loud. I probably don't need to wear ear, ear protection, but I'm going to anyway. Okay, I just ran out of batteries. Um, I didn't finish the entire yard at least the, the yard part, because I decided to go down the trail towards the creek and the river, and that's where I ran out of power. At 5%, it automatically stops the blades, and that gives you enough time to return home and recharge the batteries. But I got a lot of the field mode, thick brush, and a lot of our yard mode, so I'm very happy with this so far, and I also get to use this for towing things around, moving things around the homestead, like bringing feed over to the animals, water to the animals, so I can stop lugging that stuff around with my back and legs. I can do it with the zero turn, and I plan on getting a little trailer and getting a little setup to make moving, watering, and feeding the animals a lot easier. So. So far, I'm very happy with this thing. The one gripe I have so far is that there's six batteries and there's not a built-in charger on the zero churn. So I have to take the battery. All right, so speaking of running out of batteries, the battery on the camera died. So like I was saying, there's six batteries. You have to take them out to charge them. There's three chargers with two slots per charger. It takes about 90 minutes to charge the battery, so it's not horrible, but taking them out and putting them in, carrying them to a charge location, it's kind of inconvenient. I thought I would like that because I could then use those, uh, or charge those batteries using a solar panel once I purchased one, I don't have one right now. But the more I think about it, that means I need three separate solar panel setups to charge with the three individual uh, chargers. So, not really sure that was a benefit or, or not, but right now, whatever, I'll, I'm okay with it right now. So, I think that's my one gripe about this particular zero churn electric lawnmower. Um, anyway, this wasn't meant to be a full product review, but I am pretty happy about this because the yard was getting out of control and I was tired of lugging stuff around, so I'm really excited about having this to help me. And we can also use it kind of as a semi side-by-side -side for now to get ourselves around the property a little bit better because it does allow us to um, pull up to 300 pounds. And so I can put a small trailer, trailer on it and pull cargo or Katie can drive and I can ride in the trailer or something like that. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. So um, yeah, that's that. This pine tree is covered in poison ivy. Some really huge stalks of poison ivy on this tree. And all of these vines coming down here, these are all poison ivy. I'm gonna chop them down and go feed them to my pigs. I'm trying to keep the long stems, I'm trying to cut them long, so it gives me a better place to hold on to it. I know the stems are still uh, 
they'll still release the Eurochal oil on it off of it. But I don't know, maybe it's failed logic, I don't know. I really should have done this before all the berries started growing on the on the stems, on the branches. Well, I'm trying to be very careful not to get it on myself, not to drop any along the way. I'm sure I'm dropping seeds. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, it's laying on top of them, so that means we can't pet them with our hands without thoroughly washing our hands afterwards, which you should probably do anyway. Anyway, at least I'm getting rid of it. All right, now that I have cleaned up all the brush here, ran uh, a new paddock for the red wattles, I'm gonna try to lure them into their new paddock. Uh, if you see up in the woods there, where the tree line is, that's where they've been for, I don't know, a couple, about 10 days, and they cleared it out. However, there's a big luscious green area just outside of the wood line just before the field. So I'm gonna have them work on that. I have half of their food in the morning. Usually they get a scoop and a half, almost two scoops. They only have one scoop because I want them to eat most of the underbrush, not their food. So I'm gonna try to lure them over, see how it goes. They, already, they may already be in their new paddock eating and not even care about the food. Pick, 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 pick. All right, start eating. Sweet. So the pigs have quite a bit of area to cover in their new paddock. They're, it's actually their old paddock, paddock number three. That's been extended, so now it's paddock three and a half or four. Probably double the size that it was, so they got lots of green to eat goes all the way back into the fields and there's a bunch of poison ivy back there. And I'm hoping to get them to clear out this area and then I'm gonna move them, uh, what is that, south, towards the road along with the mangalitsas. Hi, Floyd. What's going on, buggers? Look at this, we have a big field. It's so nice to have things mowed. Hi, Kinsley! Kinsley! Hi, pretty girl. Hi there. Well, let's do a quick update on our potatoes. They're starting to rock. It's looking really good. Hey, Kinsey, start of the potatoes. I'll 
probably do one more uh, layer of mounding on this and then kind of let them be, see how they do. That all electric zero churn mower is very awesome. I love it. It cuts grass, field, tall brush and brambles, no problem. I can do about two acres on a single charge. It takes about two hours to recharge. So that allows me to get some things done while it's charging and come back and continue work. Uh, it is really powerful, has a lot of torque to it, has a lot of towing capacity. So I, as you saw, I was able to tow around a bunch of brush, some pretty heavy items as well, which saves my back, saves my energy, which is great. And now I can use it for my morning and evening chores, feeding and watering the animals. No more carrying around a five gallon bucket full of water. Um, just drive it where I need it and then put it into their water, into their water bowl. I do have a plan to make a better watering system for the pigs, but I haven't done that yet. So meanwhile, this thing has saved my back, saved my energy. I feel so much better, so much more relaxed, so much less, uh, a lot less painful in the evening when I lay down to go to bed. Being that it's all electric, that combined with our electric chainsaw, electric hedge trimmer, electric pole saw, uh, it's getting us, getting us one step closer to a goal that I have here for the homestead, which I will tell you about in a future video. And then this burn barrel that I created, this is great. I wanted to do a smokeless burn barrel, so I copied another YouTube channel and copied their design. I'm really happy with it. it burns quick, burns uh, hot. It's not smoke less, means that there's, doesn't mean that there's no smoke, it just means that there's less smoke than a typical burn barrel. But when I burn, my neighbors don't even notice that I'm burning, there's not enough smoke for them to notice, which is great. And so uh, I'm able to go through some uh, brush really quickly, some trees and, and my limbs and stuff that I need to burn really quickly. I do have plans on making a biochar burn barrel so that way I can get some really nice bio biochar out of all of this organic material that I have laying around. But for now, this is great. It's helping me clear out a bunch of brush piles. So I think that's gonna end it for today. Um, if you are interested in watching a video of me creating the burn barrel, it is a no talking, just working video of me creating the burn barrel. I will link the burn barrel creation video down below if you're interested in watching it. So anyway, we will see you guys another time on the next video. All right, bye-bye. Ouch. Come on, up, up. Come on, up, up. Good boy, look at you. Oh, look at you. That's exciting. Hey, now. I wouldn't roll on this grass. It's gonna be really thorny. Oh, Kinsey, oh boy. Oh boy, Kinsey. Oh, Kinsey, man.